Hello everyone, the 13 Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more of me playing Growing Up. Oh, let me sit up. Maybe I should get a little closer, because that explains maybe why I'm having lighting problems. Okay, so I don't have any expectations. Uh, the exam is almost ready. Um, I should do brain map before I spend literally any knowledge points. Just because you never know at this rate. Ooh, okay. A lot of points there. Am I going to get another, like, flip side one at any point? Um, okay, we got more. Flip side, yes. Okay. Um, ooh, okay. Bonus points. I will take all the bonus points, please. Um, okay. I need more on the memory. 100%. Because I, I want to try to get some, some better stuff here. Uh, we'll just go with some basic knowledge, I think. Or, no, intelligence. Go home. Hey kiddo, check this out. Your parent is holding a glass of clear liquid with an egg inside. Yesterday, I put an egg inside of a glass of vinegar. They take it out and hold it in their hand. What do you think is going to happen when I drop it? It's going to bounce. Is that a trick question? Is it going to bounce somehow? Well, let's find out. They let go of the egg and it falls to the ground and to your surprise, it doesn't break. Wow! Surprised? The shell has dissolved in vinegar, and what's left is the soft membrane. Isn't science fascinating? If you study a lot, you will learn a lot more interesting wonders like this. She would know. One of her childhood best friends was able to develop her own prosthesis. Like, way better ones. Raise your intelligence. That I can do. That one I can do. No problem. Ooh, hey, I can do some daydreaming out here. Awesome. Cloud watching. Cool, I'm in for that. Um, my pride is, like, getting up there. Oh, trip's not available because of the exam. That's fine. I guess. Um, okay, minimal cost reach. Minimal cost reached. That one still has a little more, uh, so we can go ahead and just do the exam, I guess. I think I'm just down by, like, maybe doing one point. Uh, get those hearts. Awesome. Um. Okay. Let's go for that. That. Just keep everything. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. We got a lot of heart stuff. So, and we don't have a lot of memory stuff. So let's do a few things. It'll balance that. Okay. Physical stuff would be good. Um. Alright, uh. That was much better. Um. Okay. Getting a bunch of options. Okay. So now... Okay, those two would be the highest. Um... Let's see. Let's try to keep some things, I guess, balanced. Um... That's the cheapest one for that. Okay, let's go for as much of memory as we can there. Okay, I have one point left. Um, let's just see what we can get. Okay, if I have one point left and I want to try to get... I need at least seven. Oh my god, that's not happening. One, two, three, four, five, six... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's not going to be good enough. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for that. Oh, I can't even hit that. Okay. And the exam. At least we got an A. Now we're in middle school. Evolution, handstands, and laws of motion. We can even go to the cafe and the North Pine Galleria. Love your outfit. Would totally wear something like that at your age. Um, okay, I can't go anywhere, which is fine by me. Getting a bunch of options, though. Oh, and I have money. That's right. I like that they don't have to teach me nearly as much stuff anymore. Like, I'm, I'm ready. Oh, that just showed me so much more. Okay. Let's see what else we can get. Um, we gotta raise my intelligence, that's right. Whew, this has been eventful as a map. Okay, am I gonna get to see the flip side? Um, flip side, I'll take it, okay. Oh, that was pointless. <sighs> Man. Oh, I don't have any other... Oh, I still have some expectations, but... Okay. So, let's go ahead and mow the lawn at least once. Um, let's go to the Red Checker Cafe. You enter the local diner and you seem to be the only one in the restaurant. Oh, hello. So anywhere you like. Anywhere. The waitress comes over and gives you a menu and a big smile. How about a milkshake on the house? That'd be swell. Swell, huh? I haven't heard anyone say that in a while. Be right back, hon. She brings you a drink back fairly quickly. You want anything else with this? You order and notice when you do, she heads to the back and comes out with your food not much later. Are you doing all the cooking? Oh, well, during the busy hours, we're normally someone to help, but on the off hours, yeah, it's just me. Me Zhang. Short order cook and the world's best waitress. Short order cook? It's like hamburgers, eggs, things you can make fairly quickly. Dinner food. Diner food. Not the only kind of cooking I know how to... Oh, the things I could teach you. A few other people come into the restaurant. Oh, sorry. Duty calls. Feel free to come back anytime. May rushes off to talk with the new customers. I'm in. Okay, basic ingredients. Thank you. Um, oh, I can buy things. Oh, I can buy things to raise my happiness, but I, like, have no money. Okay. I don't want to go super nuts, so I'm just going to buy that apple pie to make myself go really happy. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and just get a little more money this way. And then we'll do some forts. Yeah. We got blanket forts on lock. Okay. Um, ah, computer literacy is 10. Not what I was going for, though. Cloud watching. I'll take it. Thank you. Okay, so what can I spend points on? Well, geometry is at its lowest, so is learning to read. Um, geometry. Hey, there we go. I was able to meet all of the expectations. Okay, so I don't have any more expectations on me. That being said, I got computer literacy where I wanted it. We're going to get learning to read taken care of. And I guess we'll do the cooking basics. Get a little bit of everything that we need. Yeah, this is about to skew up the whole, like, happy, not happy dynamic, but... That's fine. I have time throughout the day to do it. The student election is coming up. For history class, the teacher has asked everyone to put a small piece of paper on one of the candidates to help understand the democratic process. You've been tasked with writing about Charles Hoffman. He's running for class president. Charles, uh, yeah. 
he's like a really good dresser. His dad's like really rich. Or is he the mayor? Or mayor's rich? Either way, his dad is, you know, someone. Hoffer? Yeah, that guy's great. Lots of fun. Met him on the wrestling team. Vote for him? I mean, wait. Vote for him for what? You head to the cafeteria to meet the Hoffer. A short interview is part of the project. The Hoffer's waiting for you. The, something about keep calling him the Hoffer bothers me. All smiles. At first it seems a bit fake, but... Hey, this is so cool. Huh? Getting interviewed, you know? Like, I'm a real wheeler and dealer. I'm Charles Hoffman. I'm running for student council. It's a pleasure to meet you, Jennifer. Dude, this kid's already got it on lock in, what, middle school? Good on him. This is how you make a good politician at a young age. Straight up. Well, that thunder just scared the hell out of me. I didn't even know it was raining. Totally took my train of thought with it. Um, but yeah, this is how you, like, early on become a really good uh, politician. Just, like, be nice, kind, genuine, and then also, like, get in good with the press. This kid's doing it good. Also, that hair screams, like, 90s, early 2000s, but also simultaneously 2022, and I don't really understand how. But my god, the sweater vest and the collared shirt needs to change. The Hoffer gives you with the big two-handed handshake. Oh my god, this kid's been, like, conditioned. Uh, you know what? Uh, you attract more, more flies with honey, so just be, uh, chill. You shake his hands back. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I feel like a real reporter. You are! I mean, what's the difference between a reporter and someone pretending to be a reporter? You know, that's fair. Yeah, I guess you have a point. Dude has a great sense of, like, redirection. He's got this. So, um, tell me, why are you running? Oh, well, you know, <laughs> he does not have an answer. For a moment, he seems like he might be too shy, but... I want to be student council president for the same reason anyone wants to win an election. He pauses for a moment. Hey, um, this is where you're supposed to say, what's that? Oh, sorry. And what's that? Uh, now you're getting it. Ahem. <laughs> Honestly, power, respect, and clout. Dude's honest. I like that. <laughs> There's another moment he stops, his face falls. Anyone who claims that they want to be elected for any other reason is lying. Bro, I like this kid. Or they're smart enough to know about no being honest really helps you win. And also, you know, practice. I mean, truth be told. Okay. He leans in close. Can you keep a secret? I kind of am half tempted to roll my eyes in real life, but yeah, sure. Cross, cross my heart. You make a cross your heart motion over your chest. The student council president of the middle school doesn't actually get any power. Ugh. Though honestly, it might be interesting to see what can be done. As for what platform I'm running on, well, I think you have to vote for the Hoffer. Brilliant, brilliant campaign slogan. But honestly, like, there, I think there would be a way to spin the article just to be like, hey, like, he genuinely has, like, people's best interests at heart. His platform is to actually decrease, like, the stress that students are under in a school environment in whatever ways that he can. And uh, to, to do the deferring thing, because this kid's going to, like, need the, the advice, right? If you add it in, um, well, I might not be 100% sure, like, what those things would be to improve our school quality. I'm willing to, you know, turn to experts and people who have experiences and thoughts that I'd be willing to talk to and, you know, get those perspectives from. 
And like that would be that I think that would help him go a lot longer of a way. Slogan's not a platform. Um, that's a slogan, not a platform. When it comes to middle school politics, do you think there's a difference? A very valid point, you're right. Mm-hmm. Chances are pretty good, I think. It's just me and a few other people running for the same reasons. But I think more people just know who I am, so... Truth is, most of the time, that's how you win. Uh, that's asking about his famous dad. So, your father is into politics? Does this have anything to do with your own goals or aspirations? Yeah, of course. He's always said that you want to start as early as possible to find real power. His dad sounds like a narcissistic prick. I don't really like talking about my dad much, though. Uh, don't push him. We pushed Rich too hard and he, like, exploded. Well, thank you for an interesting interview, but I think I have enough. Of course. Glad to help. Also remember, you have to vote for the Hoffer. He gives you another handshake as you go to leave. Honestly, thanks. I mean, this was really neat, getting to, you know, feel legitimate for a moment. That honestly is a super sentimental way of doing it. With that, you head back to class. On the way, you see a voting table. Drop a vote for the Hoffer. I, yeah, he sold me. I, I think he, like, genuinely... He has a better understanding of middle school politics than most people running for middle school political offices. And I can distinctly remember this kid named David. This kid's entire goal was to be class president, and he never won. In fact, one time, he got disqualified because he was like, I think the girls should wear whatever they want or nothing at all and was promptly disqualified despite the fact that he was the most written in candidate Ugh. David's still going places he never won class president not through middle school, not through high school none of it so I kind of hope for Hoffer's sake he actually wins because his platform's better than David's was, but David's platform was great, make no mistake truth is, he's right though no one else is running. No one else running is well known enough around the school to win. Yeah, hundred percent. We got a new exam coming up. Yeah, we can go to the corridor as well as the cafeteria. Uh, what have we got here? That takes twenty. Bite me on that one. And that takes twenty-two. Ugh. I'm gonna do like I think the paper. Yeah, do the paper thing. Do it at least once, so that this way you have money to do what you want. I think I can buy some carrot sticks, too. Yeah. Because that's, like, the cheapest, best option. Um, I'm going to use the brain map a little more. Okay. I'm in. Ooh, we get so many options. Okay, rainbow. Works for me. Just want to see if there's anything else super duper cool. But I don't think... Okay, let's go to the flip side. Okay, I see it. I don't know if I'll be able to make it, though. Oof. Okay. So, it cost me zero points to do that, but I'm prepared. Okay, oh, I know some other things I should have spent that on. It's fine. It's all good. I know what I'm doing here. Come on. Oh, I can't do that ripple anyway with it. It's fine. Okay, I don't have enough points to do anything super cool. Um, okay, minimal knowledge reached. Let's get another one of those then. Let's go on home and I'll get more expectations. Where am I? This wasn't in the last uh, run of it. It's the start of a new school year and you and Jake end up at the same middle school. Jake asks you to meet him at the Sky Tower Observation Deck, an impressive tourist spot. The view is spectacular. 
Whoa, he does not look like at all how he did as a kid, but it, it's kind of great. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you know. I do, I do. Any reason you wanted to meet up here? Need to get out of the house, and I like this spot. He looks out over the city. Uh... I want to ask about Buddy. You hang out with Buddy these days? Yeah, yeah. Guy's a bit much, but he's loyal. I mean, I know you two are tight. Give him a shrug. I like the guy. I just wish he was less insecure. Yeah, me, yeah, me too, honestly. Eh, we're not all perfect. And Jake just stares out at the city. You ever think about the future? I try sometimes, but it's just, I don't know, too big. What is it? Does he have scars on his face? If this kid is dealing with child abuse, I swear I'm turning this game off, like, right now. Also, he's wearing cargo shorts. Jake nods. Don't tell me he's got depression. That's why I like this view. I look out and I think, I don't even know what I think. It's just so big. I don't hate it, at least. After a bit more city gazing, Jake buys you some street food and you two head your separate ways. As you come home, stop slouching. Um, you stop slouching. Even if you don't care about your back, good posture makes a good impression. People care about how you look, and the impression you give off, you know. Oh, I have to raise my charm now, don't I? I already stopped. You can lay off. Sorry, being a parent and all. Sky Tower observation deck. Before we wrap up, I want to... I haven't been here. I just want to see... The Sky Tower Observation Deck, a dramatic view of the whole city stretches out before you. It's a breathtaking view. Tourists and the people who have lived in the city alike come often to take it in. <gasps> oh my god, it's Carmen San Diego. Maybe maybe an Asian version of Carmen San Diego? I don't know what's with her face, but it's it's Carmen San Diego. The view, they say, is decided by the viewer. An oddly dressed woman is standing next to you in a dramatic red hat. You don't know her. My card. She hands you a card. It's just a normal playing card. Compliment her outfit. You turn to say something to her about her outfit, but she seems to be gone. Confused, you flip over the card. Does Magic and Mystery is written out in the red ink. There's also a date and time. Mysterious. Ooh, I'm in. Oh, I'm in. Um, okay, tourist map. Never knew there's so much interesting stuff in our city. I hope parents don't mind if I go out and explore. <gasps> oh, 100%. Buy that. Okay, looks nice in my room. Photo of Ghost City. Surely this isn't real. Why would I want that? Why? Maybe someday they'll make a statue of me, too. Yeah, no, we're gonna buy this. That, like, took all of my money, but I'm here for it. Um, okay, we're definitely gonna have to cut the grass a few times just to make up some of the money we just lost. Okay, I don't have any more stuff I could do things with. It's fine, though. I'm pr Super Dude unlocks reading comics. I'm gonna request it. Because I'm definitely going to need that at some point. I know me. I'm going to need it. But that's all the time that we've got for this episode. So thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload another episode of Growing Up. Take care, everybody.